Making yogurt is quite easy. And let me tell you what's even easier. Starting the yogurt business because you need very little capital and items you can find in your kitchen. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to prepare your own starter, how to prepare your own yogurt, how to package and brand it and everything you would need to start a profitable yogurt business. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. If you are new here, welcome. <laughs> so let's start with this starter yeah the yogurt starter so for the yogurt starter i'm going to be using lemon you can use um, the yellow one or this green one i'm going to be using powdered milk all three in this recipe i'll be using water because of course we are using powdered milk so we have to dilute it so for the starter i'm using one cup of water and 65 grams of milk so i'm going to be adding the water and the milk together to make a milk solution like a liquid milk so i'm going to give this a good mix thorough mixing to avoid having any lumps you don't want to have lumps in your mixture so once i'm sure that there are no lumps inside it anymore i'm going to put it on fire while it's on the fire i'm going to keep mixing total mixing because if you do not mix it's going to burn so i'm going to bring this to a boil and once it boils i'll put it down and allow it to cool so here is the mixture after i boiled it i'm going to test it by putting it behind my pump like yeah right there because that point is um cannot withstand a lot of um heat so once that's once you put it at the back of your palm and you don't feel that it is hot it's quite warm then you know it is ready you want to make sure that it's at the right temperature for you to start the procedure of the starter now the lemon i'm going to slice it and then drop it into the um, milk so i'll put, place it into the milk and i'll stir it and then i'm going to cover it this is what i have after I put the lemon inside I'll cover it with a clean film and then I'll cover it with the bowl cover as well now I'm going to keep this in a warm um, place in my kitchen that's my oven I leave it there for 16 to 24 hours within that time frame so here is the result after about 18 to 20 hours I'll take out the lemon so you can see the result for yourself now this is the first batch of starter I'm going to make the taste is so overwhelming with lemon so i'm going to use this as my starter for another batch of yogurt a smaller batch of yogurt as well so the next one is what i'm now going to use for my proper yogurt production so watch and see Moving on to making the second batch of starter, the same quantity of milk and water, I've already boiled it and I'm pouring into a container. So I'm going to be using one tablespoon of the first starter to make the second starter, which is going to taste better than the first one. So I'll put it inside, I'll give it a good mix and I'll culture it for 16 to 24 hours. Usually I'll leave it overnight. So by the time I come in the morning, it's already okay. So this second batch of starter is not going to have the overwhelming lemon flavor. It's going to taste like a yogurt without the strong feeling of the lemon. So once it's ready, I would move on to use it for my proper yogurt production. Now, here you go. Can you see now that this one is better than the first batch that we made? Look at that. It's really, really better and it tastes better. So... Let's go ahead and make our fresh batch of yogurt. We're going to use milk, of course, full fat milk, full cream milk. We we'll use water. So we're going to be using 1 kg of milk to 4 liters of water. You can, however, use 5 liters, but I prefer to use 4 liters. And then, of course, our starter. So you can choose to use store-bought starter. You can use Greek yogurt is the best. You can also use regular yogurt. Now... Now I have these big pots, you can use any pot of your choice actually. So you pour the milk into the pot, then add the water, give it a good mix, make sure that you do not have any lump inside the milk, you're going to have to mix it thoroughly. So after it's been mixed thoroughly, I'm going to proceed to boil it on fire, just the same way we did the starter, just the same way. 
so it's on fire now we're going to make sure that it ball i'm going to make sure that i keep stirring so that it doesn't burn because of course this pot is light so if you have a pot that is very thick please go for that so it's moving towards boiling now so i'm going to keep stirring as well so once it boils i'll take it off the heat it's almost boiling it's already boiling actually you can see the foam all over the surface uh, i'll take it off the heat now and then i'll pour it into a bowl that i'm going to use for the yogurt testing whether it's at the right temperature i'll put it at the back of my pan and once it's warm it's not so hot and my pan can withstand it then i'm good to go another method is to dip washed hand into the milk and count from one to ten if your finger can withstand the temperature then it's good to go so you just need a very warm temperature for the bacteria in your starter to be able to thrive to be able to multiply you want them to grow inside this um, milk so while you wait for your milk to cool down please make sure you stir it if you don't stir you're going to get this skin and it it's part of the fast that you need for your yogurt production so moving on to add the starter i'll add some batch of milk into the starter i'll stir it very well and i'll pour it into the milk there you go you'll be wondering why i have several outfit change it took days to film this one video please engage on my videos guys <laughs> and subscribe if you are new here right thank you <laughs> I'll give this a good mix and then I'll cover it with clean film and then I'll cover it with the cover of the bowl. So I'll take this into my oven as usual um, and then I'll leave it for 6 to 8 hours max. 6 to 8 hours. Now about seven hours later you got is ready i'm so happy <laughs> so it's ready and i'm going to be bottling it with 50 cl bottles and one liter bottles let's see how many bottles this will fill Ta-da! open up <laughs> so let's see the texture let's see the texture of what you'll be giving to your customers look at that amazing <laughs> isn't it very very lush and creamy like very very good so all i just need to do now is just to give it a proper mix so that you have an homogeneous um texture so just mix it sometimes you might produce your yogurt and it will be cuddly don't 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 panic just mix it you can use this spatula like i'm doing here and i'm going to even switch to using a whisk to mix it properly yeah now look at that so let's let's whisk it up whisk it up so the more you whisk it the more you get lighter but at least this texture is still very good for a good quality yogurt if i can say so myself now this is an unsweetened yogurt you can sweeten it with anything entirely so for your business you can decide that you want to be using natural sweeteners or sugar for this recipe i'm going to be using one cup of sugar so i'm going to add this sugar into the yogurt and i would give it a good mix now i'm going to start bottling but before that i'm going to need to show you what our yogurt looks like very thick creamy lush and everything unique this recipe is amazing so i'm going to be bottling into this 50 cl bottle please use a funnel when you want to bottle use a funnel it's easier that way this recipe gave me two liters of the one liter that means two bottles of the one liter sizes and then five bottles of the 50 cl sizes and i have an extra here that should be about 25 cl so you need to be able to estimate all the uh, ingredients that you use these bottles for instance cost about 55 naira to 60 naira you can even get as high as 85 naira depending on the thickness so you need to be able to minimize your cost the one liter bottles cost about 85 naira up until over 100 naira depending on the thickness that you want so if you are in lagos nigeria please go to a jota market you get it at a good bargain 
for these um, stickers you just move to your um, printer or your graphic designer let them design a beautiful sticker for you you can print this thing yourself to reduce cost like i said i'm big on minimizing cost you just have to cut it yourself so you can have different shape that you want depending on your style your aesthetics or what you want for your brand to sell your yogurt you can visit stores around you so that you can become a stockist you can sell it individually like build a brand on social media and start selling you can sell to family and friends for starters just push your brand so that it becomes visible i hope this video has really been helpful like i always say take an action today start now start small but dream big i'll see you in my next video